Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you so much for being here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a read for you and that other person, and uh, this is going to be a read that commences from uh, November 1st, well, excuse me, November 16th through the, 31st, through the 30th, 2019. We'll get this straight. <laughs> so the 16th through the 30th of 2019, okay? So this is going to be a general read, and so we'll be tapping into a lot of uh, energies, okay? So if it is something that you're interested in in terms of a personal read, then you're gonna wanna go to theguidedintuitive.com up here, and we'll go ahead and get you set up, okay? Uh, it's pretty easy to set up an appointment, uh, and then you're there. You know, I get notified automatically, so it's all set. So uh, let's see what is in store for you for this second half of November. Uh, exciting time of the year. Uh, very, very beautiful, uh, heartwarming time of the year where we have Thanksgiving, at least in our hemisphere over here. Um, but uh, it's quite a beautiful time. Uh, I do want to thank all of you, uh, you know, for your likes, subscribes, and shares. Please continue to do that and note your comments below. Uh, I do want to let you know, um, for all of you that have scheduled the Beyond the Read sessions, I do thank you. Uh, we have been working so hard. This has been so amazing. Um, and it's like we're slashing, you know, one limiting belief after another. And it's just so, all I can say is it's so heartwarming. And um, it, it's, it's for those of you that have found that you're noticing a pattern in your life, whether in, regard, in regards to a relationship, whether regard, you know, in regards to a, a life situation, a work situation, whatever dilemma that you find yourself in, you see this pattern that, that's continuing uh, and you know that there's something up about that. You know, uh, That is something that uh, you're going to want to check out. And that's one of the reasons why I created it. So uh, it's to get rid of any self-limiting beliefs that might be standing in the way of this beautiful relationship, of this life that you really want to desire and to just push through, right? And um, this is the time, the great time to do some of that cleanup before we hit the new year so you can really take off, right? So uh, if you're interested in that, check out my Beyond the Read up here uh, and also in my description box below, all right? So let's see what is in store for you. Now, I'm going to be talking about you and that other person, so you and who. Um, just keep in mind, this also is not just for, you know, a relationship, a, a person of interest, boyfriend, girlfriend type thing. This could also also just be, you know, it also could uh, extend into being a, a, a family member, right? A, a child of the sort. Um, and even a situation overall. So if you're not dating, uh, this could be a situation you and that other side, okay? So it's not uncommon that that happens. And feel free to reverse the messages, okay? Because sometimes that does that does kind of resonate with some, okay? All right, so let's see what's in store for you. I'm gonna be using a plethora of decks, so we're gonna get all different angles coming from everywhere, okay? Including the tarot, so we'll see what wants to, um, to reveal itself and what insights wants to come out. So we're gonna start with how you feel about them right now how you feel about them right now. Let's see what that is. Okay. All right. What do we get here? Ooh, you feel about them right now that you want a new beginning. <laughs> okay. You want a new start, a new beginning, right? The the heart, you know, it's kind of like the heart chakra is coming through with that green, you know, in terms of uh, the cloak he's kind of wearing. Uh, the hat is word passionate. So it's really moving forward and saying it's a passionate new beginning that is heartfelt, uh, but definitely looking, uh, you know, for some sort of new beginning here, right? Now it could be a new job. It could be, you know, of the sort for some of you, but it could be just a brand new beginning with this person. Let's pull uh, one of our earth cards. I want to see what wants to come through the the, the tried and true uh, ones that I absolutely adore. So let's see what's uh, coming through here. All right. Let's see what wants to come through for you, Aqua. Here it is. Magnetism. Nice. So I almost feel, <laughs> this almost feel like there's two peacocks coming together here. It's like two birds coming together, right? And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's about having that magnetism to which you're not saying a lot, but you're, Aqua, you're drawing them near, okay? You've got some sort of magnetism that uh, really brings people towards you rather than you having to go the work and go out and, and get what it is that you're looking for. So um, that is something that is is quite beautiful, quite beautiful, actually, I should say. Um, but it is talking about that, and it's talking about that you've got this, some sort of magnetism that you wanna use it to your advantage right now, okay? <laughs> That's what this is saying, you know? And and not everybody has that, uh, 
that, that type of, uh, of magnetism here. So this is quite beautiful. But it's saying it's, I almost feel like there's two people coming together, two things coming together, right? So it could be an opportunity that's coming towards you. It could be a person that's coming towards you. But whatever it is, it is actually divinely guided because you see the light that is coming in between there. It's quite beautiful. It's almost as if two people are coming together. Their lives are colliding, right? And it was kind of like this destined uh, meeting. So um, if there is a meeting, Meeting of some sort, uh, it's destined to happen at, at some time or another. Okay, that's what's coming through here. But this is saying is that uh, you use your magnetism to attract what it is that you want, that person, place, or thing, or that particular you know situation. Uh, it could very, very much also be that too. But um, it could be that that person that you are interested in is quite the opposite of you. Okay, so it could be that too, and it's like uh, you're, you maybe. Um, that 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 maybe perhaps that uh some annoyance kind of builds up and uh it creates some sort of force field between you and it could be that and that's just saying that this is just an illusion so this is saying is that step back look at the situation perhaps there's some sort of illusion that's standing in the way that is not bringing you two together at this time now, again, that's for some of you. For some of you, it could be just divine timing, okay? So, you know, just keep in mind that that you're a magnetic force, right? And love is a magnetic force as well, okay? And it's a powerful attractor, but also a lot of times we put up our shields, right? Because perhaps we've been hurt in the past and we don't want to carry whatever that hurt and that baggage into a new relationship or into a new situation, if that's the case and not a relationship. But that's what this is talking about. So this is saying is that, um, you know, make love at the center of your life and, um, you know, let it radiate from your core. Okay. And, and, and let it stretch you beyond what you think that you can do. Okay. So, uh, just notice that, um, the stronger the, the, the action that you take in something, the greater the influence that it's going to be in a relationship or in a situation. But I think that you want a new beginning with someone because perhaps, uh, you know, you've had some sort of combustion or perhaps you haven't quite come together yet and it's a matter of divine timing. And in that case, uh, note your comments below because I'd like to know. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how they feel about you. Okay, let's see how they feel about you. What is that? How they feel about you, Aqua. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. All right. What is it? Aha. Uh -huh. So they feel that you're being recognized. They feel that other people are also looking at you. Uh, right now, it could be you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. But it could be they're seeing you that as success in kind of going after what it is that you want, which is quite beautiful. There's a wreath of success on one of those wands there, which is really beautiful. It's a six, and sixes are about growth. So they they see that you're growing. They see that you're that you're making you know uh, headway on what it is that you want in life, and then you just you continuously are growing and growing. And they're seeing this beautiful growth in you, Agua. Uh, so this is really quite beautiful. I'm gonna pull another card and see what the Earth. Uh, cards have to say about this so I'm always interested in that but this is really beautiful they're looking at you uh, that way now I also feel that right now that you might not be together okay so there could be some sort of absence something that is hidden that is not bringing you forward right now okay uh, now this could have been a situation um, it could be that something else is kind of trotting onto their heart something else uh, has it's like they don't it could be that this person is taken, uh, and I'm just saying, I'll go because, um, you know, the horses represent freedom, and I feel that the horse is kind of, um, has these, uh, these kind of hooves that are going down to the ground, seeing that this person's freedom is not there to give their heart away. So that's what I'm seeing here. So for some of you, that very much will be the case. Uh, they might be taken, they might have someone. Uh, something still is hidden. So not, not all yet has been revealed. And, um, and so um, that's what this is talking about. So uh, they feel an absence. They feel that they don't have the freedom that they want to, to give the love that they want to for some reason. And I, I really feel that is, is kind of shaking their foundation of this tree here, right? It's kind of, it's shaking that it's making it a lot more darker, right? And um, it's, it's almost as if that uh, it wants to grow, but I feel that 
the heart is rooted down. It was something that's currently in place. Something is holding them back. Okay. So that's what I see here. There and there and there's absence between you. So maybe there's distance time, you know, between you as well. Um, but that's what I'm feeling about how they feel about you. They feel that you're at, they feel you're at your absence out of their life. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and take a look at, um, uh, what you make together. What do you make together? Let's see what that is. Okay. What's the Oracle say? Wow. It's like you give each other what you make together right now is space. It looks like you're giving each other space right now. I mean, there's no doubt about it. That's what's happening, right? Because things are hidden and it's caused a little bit of fire in terms of the situation or in the relationship, right? So, you know, what, but what is really interesting too, for some of you is that you're able to give each other space to let things unfold. Okay. Let them be and let the divine timing come into play as well. So the space is necessary for the growth each of you by yourself so you can come together right and and that space uh is really going to allow um the best of both of you to come together is what i'm thinking because um what you can make together is 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 a lot is is space right is is um is growth what you make together is something that is i'm going to clarify it with the uh chair and see what wants to come up right what you make together, it's like right now, what you're making together is space. It's like, um, it could be that this person uh, or you, whether you, you might be single at this point right now and just focusing on your wealth and getting things together and the luxury and, the, and life itself. Uh, but I'm also feeling too, is that, um, that this person might have uh, a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, or you might have that in your sign. Um, but this really represents a single person, right? So this is as is it's like what you make together right now is space. You're giving each other the space that you need to grow, all right, and to attain the wealth that you need to uh, to get stable and and that type of thing. I'm going to clarify this again because nine's about coming to fruition, okay? And that's what I see here. So what do you make together? Clarified. There is a choice. So this relationship has a choice. Uh, it's about balancing my space in your space and our together space is what's happening here. Uh, and, 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 and to ground this a little bit better, that is what is happening. So I think that the, there is a balancing that needs to be done in terms of giving each other space and then also coming together right now there's a lot of space okay so that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling here and it's the two and it's about balancing that out a little bit more okay uh i'm gonna pull on um the soul tree cards i'm gonna see what wants to come out in terms of what you make together um and see what else wants to come out for you here sage you both are pretty i have a lot of wisdom okay together you offer sage advice. You offer a lot of wisdom that when coming together, you can help each other, but also help, uh, you know, something even larger than yourselves. And that's what I see coming through here. So when I, when I see the sage, it just tells me that, Hey, this is about wisdom gained through this experience. So you together have really gained a lot of experience by being, having this space. This is what I'm talking about guys, having this space you know, growing and growing and growing. And from this distance, you're able to see things. Oh, this is what I'm doing. Oh, this is what I'm doing. Oh, and then fixing that and then making it better and better as divine timing is coming into play. Uh, or, uh, you know, just as, as the wisdom and knowledge is gained from both sides. So there's a lot of sage advice or anything else that wants to come through here. What you make together you inspire each other. One inspires the other. Okay. This is beautiful. Uh, and this is, um, the blues are about the communication, the throat chakra, right? Uh, so this talks about all forms of communication, uh, you know, inspire each other, inspire each other to be better, better than you were before. If that other person inspires you to be a better person, you know, they got something going on and that's how I see it. You know, it's, it's all about growth and growing the, the relationship, growing the situation. All right. So very interesting. Yeah. I like to, I like seeing this and it's all about, you know, uh, you know, you, you are also trading points of view and you're both learning from each other is what I'm thinking too, you know, through the process, but 
it's really, really beautiful. Um, and when I, when I see inspire, this is also, you know, providing guidance to each other. Okay. So the relationship or situation is providing guidance to both of you. I'm just saying guys, note your comments below, but I'd like to know, let's take a look at what you need to know most about them, what you need to know most about them. Okay. What is that? What you need to know most about them. What is that? What you need to know Aqua most about them. Wow. This is interesting. Gosh, in the card, I think you blow their mind, okay? I really, try, quite frankly, Aqua do. <laughs> um, what you need to know most about them is, is, is that, that, that at their core essence of who they are, that they really, truly uh, care for you. And, and, and I think that's what's coming through is I think that they are, that you see them at, in their core essence and you see how, um, you know, how, how smart they are. You see how wise that they are as well. And it just, uh, and I think that's one of the big things. So I think that's part of it. And I also think there is some deep passion at your core of your, of, of, of um, you know, like on what you need to know about them is that they've got some passion for you. They really got some passion for you. And I think you're blowing, they're, they're blowing, um, they, their mind is blown by you. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Okay. And they want you to know, it's almost as I feel is that they have love for you. They have, um, they really truly do. So this is interesting on why like, what the hell? You know what I mean? But I think that if it's not divine timing, then it's about just growing through the process, right? And just know at the core, when it comes, boils down to the core, you know, a situation at hand and how they really truly feel about you. Um, it is something that they do, uh, they do, do truly feel good. About. You know, they, it is something that they, uh, they have a, 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 they also have a choice to make. They have to come kind of a really focus in on, um, what they really want in their life, their core beliefs, their core values, right? And, uh, and, and, and really dig deep down inside saying, what is this? Is this something that I want or how do I want this, you know, to be? So this is about, um, seeking that inner calm. And, uh, so, uh, what you need to know about them, that's what they're doing is that they're focused on wealth and in their relationships. And, um, and, uh, uh, this is saying is that whatever person or situation that they choose uh, in this, uh, you know, whatever's happening with them is that their heart is going to have a say in this. So they're going, they're taking their time and they're choosing wisely. Okay. That's what's happening here. All right. I'm just saying that's what wants to come out. Let's see, uh, what, uh, the, the tarot has to say about this and what wants to come through for that. So in terms of the core on what you need to know most about them, what you need to know most about them, I think they're thinking aqua, they're thinking and they're trying to make some sort of decision in their life. Okay. It's not, a, it, it's something that's a little bit easier than maybe you might think on the surface. It's a lot deeper than that. Okay. So let's see what else this is. Okay. Ace of Wands. Wow. So the Aces tell me that this is a potential for an inspiration and a new creation, right? A new creation for a new beginning. Okay. And this is from the universe. So this could be that they're going to get that divine guidance from the universe, right? And I really feel that what you need to know most about them is they want a, a new beginning. What else? Okay. And they want to get away from the three of swords. So I do remember, like I told you, is that I really felt that there was someone else that it was around. I think they're making a decision, but they want a new beginning. They want to get rid of this heartbreak and, and this, this, um, this three of swords type, uh, uh, you know, communication, uh, which is, you know, about grief, heartbreak, and separation. They want a new beginning because at the core essence, they really, really love you. Let me clarify the three of swords. Uh, you might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, another fellow air sign, or um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what else wants to come through. Yeah, they want to balance things out. They want temperance, balancing the emotions out a lot more is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and... What I'm seeing is it just, you know, balancing the emotions out of love, you know, for each other. This is a major kind of card. So what you need to know about them is they need to balance out their emotions a little bit more. Uh, and that's what needs to take place. Uh, what are the blocks and difficulties uh, that are happening? Blocks and difficulties of this situation. Blocks and difficulties. What is that? What is that? Let's see. Here it is. Interesting. So we got influence. So interesting. This is about, you know, um, the difficulties, um, is that there's something that is influencing the situation right now. Okay. And I think that it has to do again with divine timing as the different, uh, phases of the moon, there's different things that are revealed to them. 
but this is saying is that um, that your your love and your um, calmness and your care and you, you relax them your love relaxes them and you allow them and they, they, they it's, it's kind of like the blockages are or is, is like the third eye is 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 not being tapped into because they haven't taken a moment to pause and find out what it is that they really really love and what they really really want so the blocks and difficulties are to tap into your third eye also to use love in terms of all your communications uh, stem from love, uh, be patient, be kind, um, and know that, uh, uh, that there could be an also an outside influence on this situation or on this relationship. I'm just saying, guys, there could be something else that's influencing this. Now, it, for some of you, it's just divine timing and the universe is co-creating and kind of working with that. So that could very much well be the case. So what else in terms of blocks and difficulties wants to come through? Blocks and difficulties long term so they're really focusing on long term the threes are all about communication and when i see the wands this is about having foresight and being prepared uh perhaps um you know prepared to move forward and to have influence on this situation what else wants to come through this is aries leo sagittarius type energy fire energy ah influence influence of knowing where your emotions are your emotions really influence you and you don't want to um, you know, if you might have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces um, in your chart or that other person might have it in theirs, but they're really looking carefully at their emotions. Uh, you know, perhaps this person hasn't really opened up and has been looking at their emotions, trying to understand what their emotions are and because it's having influence over this situation. Uh, but let me pull up a Soul Trees card, see what it is. Blocks and difficulties. It's something to do with emotions and long-term love. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. What else wants to come through? Committing to their path. Okay. So I think what it is, is they're really going within it. The relationship is about both of you going within and committing to your own past and knowing that you can meet it perhaps in the middle. Okay. It's all stemming from love. There's green that's listed below, but this is about committing to the path, which is quite interesting because when I see this, this is about you know, making a decision, moving forward and persevering. And I think that this person is in this situation is that someone is making a decision. Uh, and, and I think that if Aqua, you have made the decision, you're coming on your path and you're like, meet me, <laughs> you know, uh, meet me here uh, because this is the path that I'm going on. If you're with me, come on, let's grab my hand and let's go. Uh, so it's about, uh, that is about, that's really, really important. Anything else that's important for blocks and difficulties in this relationship or situation? Let's see what that is. Here it is. Family. So family plays a big role in this as well. How interesting. So perhaps this one side or another has a family and it's about bringing two families together or having a family uh, or family is coming in the way of this situation that's been a block or an influence um, in this situation, right? It could have been that that is the influence of the situation of this relationship. It could be uh, one's path that has been chosen, you know, uh, here. And then it could also be uh, the uh, family members that might be standing in the way or maybe the way you see family, uh, that type of thing. So note your comments below, guys. Very interesting. And then let's move on into the uh, best way forward. Best way forward. What is it? Best way forward. Here it is. Here it is, guys. Discernment. Stop, look, listen. Make sure that those people that you have around you, including this other person, including this situation, uh, whatever that is, is something that you are purposely choosing and it fits in alignment with you, body, soul, and spirit, right? So this is about being discernful about the people, places, and things and stuff that you have around you and you're making better choices. So you're taking a moment to take a look at that and making a discerned decision. There's not a right or wrong decision. It's just now is what it is and what is best for you and moving forward and moving forward and moving forward, okay? So that's exactly what I see here. How interesting. I'm gonna pull um, a uh, tear on this and see what wants to come out. So discernment is very, very key. Making sure that the choices that you make are gonna lead to a blossoming future for you 
and um, in this relationship, in this situation, right? And it's all about, uh, also, there's a third eye. If you see that, guys, it's about using your own intuition, your third eye as well, right? And it's about let, you know, whatever it is that's going to lead you to grow yourself, to grow this relationship, because it's so uh, bountiful. You can just see it in colorful. And that's what you want to fill in to color your life, right? Let's see what else this wants to say. Best way forward making a decision again it's like the discernment is is actually clarified by the discernment in terms of kind of cutting things out you've got the queen of swords and the queens are about influence the swords are about making a, 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 a being very perceptive she's a very quick thinker so you might be taking that on or that other person but i do believe that you're becoming very quick very discernful in the situation okay uh, again you could be cutting out uh either uh, you you might have a fellow air sign uh as well so let me just see here Wow, cutting out. Um, and then there's also an empress. So there's an empress. Maybe there's someone that's pregnant in terms of the situation that you're involved in. Maybe that three of swords have it to do with someone who is pregnant. Just saying, guys. Um, and uh, making a discerned decision on what's going to be best for you based upon the situation that maybe has revealed itself. Uh, and I'm thinking that that might be the case because I get the Empress card and she's all about fertility. So it could be a new beginning, could be a new birth of a new beginning in this relationship, or it could be that someone in either side happens to be pregnant uh, here or uh, have someone who's pregnant. But this is uh, about beauty. Um, this is about, um, you know, femininity. Uh, this is, uh, you know, truly just about uh, um, just, you know, quite quite beautiful, uh, just beauty and art and everything beautiful. So it could be a new birth in this relationship, a new birth, um, you know, maybe with someone, uh, but it's going to be cut out. Let me see. Let me clarify with the soul trees. What wants to come out? What wants to come out uh, in terms of uh, the best way forward? Let's see what the soul trees have to say. Okay. Let's see what that is happiness whatever it is it's bringing happiness okay so whether that the happiness comes from you cutting something out or the happiness comes from uh you know following your core beliefs that yellow is that that solar plexus right and uh that that chakra there and whatever it is is it leads to just beautiful bloom um blooming flowers she'll just beautiful blooming flowers at the top there whatever it is it's bringing you happiness okay that's all i'm saying there so now it's like maybe whatever decision you make is going to bring you on the trail to happiness hey guys that's all it's important to know so i hope that this resonated with you in some way shape or form aqua note your comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time uh and until then namaste